Okay, so we found that 30, only 36.8% of men passed this quiz. Not very good. And now what percentage of women passed? That's three, right? Because there's 36, 41, and 50. Those are the only three women that passed. Now there's 12 women total in the group, which comes to a rounding 25%, which is a really low score, right? That's how not very many people pass this quiz, apparently. All right, so what does this graph reveal about the classroom of statistics students and their quiz scores? Well, it reveals all sorts of things. But in particular, I mean, I mean, you can say, oh, not a lot of students passed, but you could tell that looking at these earlier graphs, you could see not a lot of them passed. But what this graph in particular reveals is there's a lot more men in this class than women. And the vast majority of women did not do well on this quiz. The men are more spread out than the women are. Okay. So let me type that up. Hold on. Okay. So there are a lot more men in the class than women. The women did a lot worse. They're all packed down here for the most part. And the men are kind of more evenly spread out, I should say, are more evenly spread out than the women, right? Their scores are more evenly spread out. All right, I think we have one last question, i.e. construct a salmon leaf plot for this data. So I'm going to go and take this. I'm gonna start by, actually, the easiest thing to do would just be to open up StatCrunch. Let me bring it back, it's right here. Now I'm not gonna try to copy and paste because copying and pasting doesn't work too well from something like um, Word. It only works pretty well from, um, oops, I'm gonna put this down here so I can see it. All right, and I'm making it so that the window for um, the StatCrunch window is a little bit smaller. Hold on, there we go, there we go. So you can see it. I mean, you could always just write them down on a sheet of paper. <laughs> That'll work too. Um, 24, 25, 8, 24, enter, 7, enter, and so on. Right, let me type these in. There they are. It's very exciting stuff. I typed them all in. Now, I'm just kind of using a trick here with the windows so I can see the data down here, but still be able to type it in up here. Um, again, if you don't want to do that, you can go to all the trouble to copy and paste it into Excel and then kind of transpose it into one column and then bring it over to StatCrunch and copy and paste it into there. That's fine. It just seemed like more trouble than it was worth. All right, now I'm going to make the StatCrunch window big. I'm going to go to Graphics, Stem and Leaf Plot. And I want the number of games this time. That's my data set. Next, I want no outlier trimming. Create Graph. And there it is. It's ugly, but it works. Copy. And paste. Now, why is it this one didn't split the stems? I mean, look at how stacked in those are. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> the programs kind of make up their own mind about what they're going to do, and they just do it. All right. So we have our salmon leaf plots drawn. Everybody knows how to do it with StatCrunch. Again, if you wanted to go into all the trouble of typing it in Excel yourself, you could, um, but it's kind of a pain. It's, it's easier with StatCrunch. Let me remind you just real quickly how much of a pain it is. So let me put in Excel here and I'm just gonna go over here to an empty portion of it so you can see. But what you have to do is you've gotta go zero, one, two, and then you want two, three, oopsie, two, space, or tab, three, four, six, six, seven, eight, eight, and then you go down here to the one group, and you give it a seven, then you go down here. All right, so I got them all in there, and see how spread out they are, it's kind of a mess, and then you want to, I want to double click and make these smaller. Oops, I gotta make that smaller because those cells are in there. See what I mean? I don't really want them there. And then you've gotta make it so that there's kind of a vertical bar in there between these two. And it's not showing up in my menu, so I'm gonna have to go to more borders and turn on that middle one, turn off the left one, turn on that middle one. And there you go. That's a stem and leaf plot. So it's kind of a pain to do by hand. It's just easier and quicker in StackCrunch. So feel free to use StackCrunch.